It's your boy, Slim the Fox, back at it like your spine one more time. Yeah, I know I've been kind of not around for the reviews, but, you know, I had a little teeth ache, tooth ache problem, but, you know, I'm back. Back to bless y'all with some more reviews. And this review is on Beverly Hills Cop, Axel Foley, or Axel F, as they call it. I'm just going to call it Beverly Hills Cop 4, because that's what it is, and that's what we're going to call it. All right, Beverly Hills Cop 4. We're going to get straight to the point because, you know, I don't beat around the bush. But I thought it was good. I thought it was real good. Um, Eddie Murphy, for those who would wonder if Eddie Murphy be back in his prime old school Eddie Murphy self, not the Eddie Murphy we done seen in the last several years or decades. He, he brought back he brought back some old Eddie in this joint here. He, he, definitely, he brought, definitely brought the old 80, 80s Eddie back that I, I come to know and love. You know what I'm saying? He... They'd always been a talented brother, you know what I'm saying? But to have some of that old school Eddie back is something that, you know, those who grew up on him like myself was glad to see. So he definitely brought his A game to this. So that was definitely the number one thing I loved about it. He definitely was a, a cut above. It was all it was all so great to see the old cast, to see Billy and Taggart. I mean, they wasn't in it much, but when they was in it, it was just like a trip down memory lane and it was cool. It was cool to especially see Taggart because he wasn't in three. That's probably one of the reasons why three wasn't that good to me. I don't care anybody else's opinion. It just wasn't that good. Um, and at the ending scene when it was all in the car at the end, I thought that was dope. And a call back to the, you know where they was going, straight to the strip club because that's, that's, that's been the theme in the, in the first two movies. So I thought that was cool. I wish they would have, you know, had another scene of that. That would have been a straight up hilarious, but a beautiful way to end it all. The action was good. I mean, for a Netflix movie, and the production was good. Because sometimes for Netflix movies, they'd be kind of a little low cut in certain aspects. But the production was good. Um, the action scenes were good. It started straight out with action. Um, and Eddie Murphy moved around pretty good for, for somebody his age. The, the supporting cast, the daughter was cool. Um... The other cop, the young cop, he was cool. He did his thing. It was a, it was a couple of hilarious scenes. The meter maid scene was hilarious, and the helicopter scene and the parking lot, the parking attendant scene, that was hilarious. Overall, it was a cool movie. The things I didn't like, the force. Look, as, as someone who also, you know, my pops, he came around here once. He came around here. Uh, he came around. But, you know, he wasn't there, there in my life. Um, I'm getting a little personal with that. But I can understand the daughter's anger and hate. But it kind of got a little long-winded as the, as the movie went along. It's kind of like, okay. And Hollywood got a bad habit of that. It's like a continued, long, drawn-out line that they be doing. And this is, this is no different. That's the part I didn't like. It kind of felt like, okay. Enough is enough. Like, uh, we get it. Um, her hate and anger towards, you know, actually. And also, another point, too, another thing I didn't like, it also made, like, Axel Pollock kind of an asshole at certain points. And that's not really Axel, Axel Foley, I, I know, as far as the movies are concerned. He never was an asshole. He just was silly and over the top. Maybe to the, to the people he was doing the stuff to was an asshole, but he never was, came off as an asshole as typing. The situation with his daughter and and a certain certain scenes where, you know, he told the, the young cop, like, if I would have shot him before, if you didn't, like, he kind of came off as arrogant. And that really was the Axel Foley character. But I know you didn't have to build up, you know, him being a certain kind of way for him to have the conflict for his daughter. But I ain't really care for that. But I understand. And I get it. Um, Overall... I thought it was a good movie, a real good movie. I mean, Eddie Murphy came back with that old Eddie, and you can't hate that. And the story was cool, and it was a great seeing the old cast together again. It was good to see Bronson Pincho in his part of Surge again. It, it was good. So overall, I'm going to give Beverly Hills Cop 4, or Beverly Hills Cop Axel Foley, whatever you want to call it, 3.9 Detroit Lions throwback jackets. Out of five. And it's your boy, Slim the Fuck, signing out. I'm out of here. Peace.